Today, I'm eating everything from a theme park, specifically Knott's Berry Farm, down in Buena Park, California. Only 100 years ago, it was but a tiny berry stand on the side of the road, and now it has giant attractions. I've been on roller coasters already this morning. Also today, all of my guests will be riding some rides before they come on and try some food with me. I'm trying to capture that spirit of euphoria that happens at a theme park. As always, Eat the Menu is brought to you by Keith's Not Too Hot Sauces. We got stuff for chicken, stuff for burgers, stuff for tacos, and honestly, you can put it on whatever you want. Live your life how you want to, but buy my sauce to do it. Also, at the end of this, I will be going on Hang Time, which is the roller coaster that the Try Guys went on. It's got lots of inversions, so we'll see how a full stomach does on that one. Let's eat the venue. Let's start off with something from Sutter's Funnel. We got the cherry cheesecake funnel cake. Holy damn. I love funnel cake. It is my favorite park thing. This is gonna be a great day. The acidity of the cherries, the creaminess of the ice cream, the crunchy de dunch of the funnel cake is delicious. I'm gonna do one more bite. It's perfect. All right, let's move on to what's next. <laughs> The Super Cinnamon Fun Bun. It's a deep fried cinnamon roll with boysenberry filling. This is chaos. Look at that. This smells crazy. It's hot. It's very hot. Everybody, it's very hot. There are only six pieces of this, but I would recommend it for a family of 25. Sam, you're gonna have to eat the rest of this. Okay, we just learned a little boysenberry fact. The boysenberry was made by a guy whose last name is Boysen, and then he sold the berry to Mr. Knotts, who made it commercial, so there's a lot of berries in this menu. Just so you know. We got some loaded tots over here. There's pastrami, there's cheese, there's boysenberry mustard. Holy hell. It's actually quite good quality pastrami. Woo! That sugar from the last two's hitting. I'm feeling crazy already. I wish I could put my whole hand in my mouth just to suck it dry. <laughs> Next up, look at this massive turkey leg. We gotta get this good, this is a good thumb opportunity. This is like the size of my knee. I like turkey legs because they've kind of become a conversation stick. Yeah, we're gonna go to the ghost ride for me. When you see a child holding a turkey leg, that child has unlimited power in that moment. I want to eat more of it, but there's so much more to go. We got the calico soda. It's boysenberry cream soda. It's hand mixed. Yeah, that's good. Throw a little tequila in this bad boy. Call me. Oh, here we go. We got some ribs from Fireman's Barbecue. We also got some corn on a cab. Oh, stunning. Who is she? This rib is enormous. Fall off the bone? Are you kidding me? How do they do it? The corn on the cob. It's corn. Probably good to have some corn. This is like the first vegetable I've had so far, right? Do you guys eat corn as the spin or the, the typewriter? I'm more of a typewriter guy. Show of hands, how many people in here eat corn like a typewriter? How many people spin the barrel? Typewriter one. More typewriters in this class than barrel rollers. It's a pasty. Are we eating in the future, the present, or the pasty? <laughs> I thought there was gonna be other stuff in it. Just me, it's hot. <laughs> Let's start with the mashed potatoes. This is hot as heck. Oh wow, those mashed potatoes are really good. That was a lot better of a bite than I was expecting it to be. I thought it was just an in-between bite. Turns out the mashed potatoes are a star. Do you see these mashed potatoes? Oh my goodness, <laughs> take me to bed. <laughs> These are fucking mashed potatoes. <laughs> That's all, I'm saying. all right, let's have the beef thing. Mmm, I love the crust to bit. The crust is buttery and flaky. Mmm. Do a little Habits Burger special over here. This mashed potatoes is the next big dip to take America. Mmm. Mmm. That did it. All right, now to join me for some more delicious favorites. Jared Popkins! Woo! Park, baby. Wow! Let's Here we go. go. You've already ridden some rides, Jared. How's your day been so far? Oh, Alex Lewis is my favorite person to ride rides with, and he will come with me to every amusement park for the rest of my life. Alex Lewis will talk a little bit more about his experience later, but we made him go on some things he was afraid of. <laughs> he was the best. 
was. It was awesome. <laughs> All right, so we got some spicy chicken sandwiches from Sutter's. We got some mango lime agua fresca. Cheers. Cheers. The mango lime agua fresca. Mango lime agua fresca. It tastes like the Flintstones push pop. That is a great call. That is yeah. exactly what, this is a liquid Flintstones push pop. Mm -hmm. Your kids have been throwing fits all day. Uh-huh. You want a mango aqua fresca. Mm -hmm. Now that we've cooled our mouths off, why don't we heat them back up a little spicy chicken sandwich. A little buffalo action. Mm -hmm. It's surprisingly quite good. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I it's like really our director good. chairs. <laughs> yeah, well, well. Action! Get me my berries! It started as a berry farm, right? Yeah, it started as a berry stand, 100 years ago. Now you can throw up on a ride. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how, because there's four million visitors a year. No way. How many people vomit straight berries here? Is there a job for someone just to clean up the berry vomit? Are you guys hiring? <laughs> <laughs> I do want one more bite of this. It's actually good. Yeah, good. I'm pretty impressed with this chicken sandwich. Really surprisingly good. Let's have the next thing. Ghost Town Gumbo. Are you fooling me? I don't think I've ever had a gumbo at a theme park. Well, grab those gumbos and bowl them over. I would love it if I had your sauce. Kick it with a spice. A little hot sauce. Well, you know, I do have the taco sauce. Yeah, I don't know if this is the right choice for this, but let's try it. Keys taco sauce for other things than just tacos. Buy it. Probably really good on tacos. Buy it. Let's have a dab. Oh, <laughs> Okay, well. It's not a dab. More of a pour. Yeah, it was more like a river. Changes it entirely. Yeah. <laughs> it's wild. <laughs> Bring on the next team. Whoa. What? Jambalaya? Where are we? <laughs> Why <do you> <laughs> well, I felt like I needed a thing to help people like, you know, be like, oh, that's Keith's thing. He's the big spoon guy. Mm. That's surprisingly good too. Mm -hmm. It's good biscuit too. It's literally dripping with butter. At first I thought there was like a little glaze of honey. No, it's just butter. Look at that. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> You're gonna do it. Wow, look at the size of this thing. It's a lot. <laughs> I can just feel it burning now. It's so real. I just don't like cookie ice cream sandwiches in general because this happens. Then you're like, you're constantly trying to lick off the top and then it's falling apart. And then your ice cream to cookie ratio is all screwed up. But... Listen, this is great. Go get yourself somewhere private at the park. <laughs> Maybe they have a smoker section. <laughs> and just devour this thing. Really it's actually good a cookie. really good cookie, really good vanilla ice cream. The ice cream is solid. Yeah. I love pie. Oh look, they got the knots thing at the top. Can I say, what a great little touch. Makes me feel like I'm a kid again. Oh, wow, it tastes like a Hershey. Most of the audience knows this, but I had pies for my wedding. Big pie guys here. Mmm. Oh, I'm living for the crust. All right, let's keep on scooting. Oh, that's cute. It looks like just a good solid sugar cookie. It's got a nice little layer of icing. I'm wondering if this is chocolate icing, so I'm gonna eat this little ear. It's a good black and white cookie. It's a sugar cookie. Cookies like this get dropped on the ground every second of every day at a theme park. <laughs> Some child a is like, <laughs> It's okay. Did I, did I have yours? Yeah. Can I have yours? You can have mine. Oh. <laughs> It's okay. Do you guys have anybody on staff that's here just to pick up the cookies? Park services, yeah. Are you hiring? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get a job before I leave here today. All right, we got a boysenberry icy float. I feel like this is one of the more common things ordered when you're having a fun day, it's hot. You're like, we're doing something new, let's get a float. Oh it's yeah, fun. it tastes like a cherry Coke. Every time I come back here, I'm gonna order that. Well, Jared, thanks for dropping by. You're gonna take that with you. Hey! Make sure you follow Jared uh, right here, put his little, put his little handle on the video. Thanks uh, for having me, Keith. It's all right, it's so great to have you. Thanks for watching, you guys. Let's move on to some other delicious items. A cinnamon roll cookie from Dough Knots. Uh, this, first of all, looks like something straight out of a cartoon. This doesn't look real. It's the best parts of a churro and a cookie together. It's incredible. I thought it was not gonna be good. It looked like it was gonna be like boring. So much more than boring. It wasn't boring at all. Not just more than boring, it wasn't boring at all. Oh, that is a good cookie. This is up there with the mashed potatoes. Wow. The pickle! <laughs> oh yeah. Woo! <laughs> it's a pickle. You like pickles, I like pickles. Boysenberry Dippin' Dots. As a child, I always wanted Dippin' Dots, and my parents said it was not worth the extra expense. We have ice cream at home. Whoa. That's really a wild ride. It's somewhere in between a sherbet and an ice cream in flavor. All right, what we got next? Now we're talking a classic favorite, meat on a stick. 
wrapped in batter, deep fried. It's a corn dog. It's a boysenberry corn dog. Look at that. Very unique with that little sweetness. But the hot dog itself, it's a good hot dog. Let's have some french fries. Very good too. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a corn dog. This is a fried cheese stick. Let's see, is this all cheese? Am I gonna die? <laughs> this is like an old dad's wallet. You know what I'm talking about? Holy cow. Oh my God. This alone would ruin you. <laughs> Woo! That one is gonna lodge in my stomach for the next six years. Let's move on. Oh boy. Becky's trying to get caramel apples everywhere. She loves caramel apples. They're not healthy. <laughs> Just because they're apples doesn't make it healthy. <laughs> it's too much for me. Sam, would you take this to Becky? My wife is gonna love this. Let's keep going. What do we got? Oh, chocolate fudge. Jesus, you're gonna kill me. He's so on. Look, can we talk about the decision to hand me fried cheese, a pound of caramel, and now a pound of fudge? It's fudge. It tastes good if you like fudge. It's just too sweet. What do we got? Two more fudge? How much fudge are we eating? It does come with a little cute spoon. Boysenberry cookies and cream fudge. The spoon's never gonna do it. There's so much sugar, you can almost like experience the granules. Let's move on to the boysenberry chocolate caramel. It's caramel. What's next? Sodas? The sugar we're enduring is intense. Boysenberry chocolate sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla is uh, root beer. That's what it tastes like. So this is a boysenberry chocolate root beer. Oh, that is not for me. And it's like drinking a chocolate bar. Let's try this. Whoa. I just got a whiff of salty beef and berries. And I have never had a whiff like that. <laughs> it smelled like beef cereal. Pour yourself a bowl of jerky -os. Maybe don't call it jerky -o. Kind of the way that like bacon can be sweet and salty. It's kind of like that, but it's beef instead of pork. Like you got a little bit of your jam on your bacon. The smell, I wasn't sure, but the taste, I'm in. All right, coming all the way from there. How should we start this? Bring out your biggest applause and enthusiasm for my beautiful boys with berries, Lou Burger! Hello! Well, I'm so glad you all are here. We're gonna try some delicious barbecue things. All right, but before we do that, it's time for everyone's, everyone's favorite, favorite segment. segment. Huey takes over Alex's segment to celebrate Alex's birthday on the All You Can Eat Eating the menu time. Can't keep shoehorning your own segments into this show. It's guys. just gonna happen once a year. <laughs> well. <laughs> Why? A tray, so when you bring Keith his food, you can serve it beautifully. This is the second one of these trays that Huey has gotten me. <laughs> it's a two-tier serving tray? He's given you one before? It wasn't called a two-tier serving tray, but once for like Christmas or something, he gave me this exact Don't present. Don't show the price. Oh, Don't show the clearance price. He, no, it just happened to be on clearance. So what I have for you today is something very special. It sounds like you just got off like a marathon. You're like panting. I kind of did. <laughs> oh yeah. I was coasters. on several roller coasters that I was very afraid of, that I was forced to go on. I yeah. hated that. You didn't throw up. I didn't throw up, but I hated it. <laughs> we had fun. All right, tell me about the treat. All right, today I have baked for you a Cinnabon cake. <laughs> Whoa, it looks rough. <laughs> it does look it rough. Looks it does. rough. <laughs> so it's like a coffee cake almost? It's kind of a coffee cake vibe. I'd go for the middle, you get more cinnamon. <laughs> the middle looks like curdled cheese. Well, look, Keith, I made it three days ago, and then it also sat in the car for hours three today. Three days ago? <laughs> okay, let's try it. A little wet. Well, you know, tinfoil. Well, thanks, Alex. Really a treat. Always, I'm glad this segment's back. COVID's in a place where we all feel confident eating baked goods from one another. So let's move on to some real barbecue treats. This is barbecue sauce mixed with macaroni and cheese. Oh, that's, a, we, I know that's good. I've had lots of barbecue pulled pork mac and cheese, stuff like that. I'm just not used to it. I don't know, it's just the Beyond Meat is not my favorite, but I think the mac and cheese is pretty good. The and mac the, and cheese is great. And the mac and cheese with the barbecue sauce also works for me. Cheers, happy Cheers. birthday, Alex. Thank you. I'm happy birthday, Alex. Thanks, guys. It's not till Friday, but you know. Mm. I don't like that. 
Oh, you don't like I'm root sorry. beer? Sorry, I know you guys work for nuts. I don't care for that at all. <laughs> it's root beer. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay. Well, you don't like root beer. Well, I don't like soda, and I don't. <laughs> it's a little mild. It tastes like yeah. Medicine. It's not as as intense as some that I've had. That was like Pepto Bismol soda to me. Are you f***ing wrong? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? Wrong? <laughs> yeah, I can answer that one for you. <laughs> Sasparia. I wish it was pronounced Sasparia. It feels like it should be. I Double I'll tell you what, it's going to be pronounced Ria something later on. <laughs> Alex, <laughs> please. <laughs> uh, oh, they like that. By the way, if you like comedy like this, make sure to watch the Lou Burger special comedy special on Amazon, Amazon Prime, yeah. streaming free. Now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got some pulled pork mac and cheese. There's something else going on. Is it mustard? I think what's going on is that they put it into the shape of a little baby chip. <laughs> it does like a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Please! Please, Oh, yeah. Let's One, try. two, two, three. three. Oh, I don't want to try it. Okay! <laughs> I love pulled pork mac and cheese, and this one really didn't disappoint at all. And the saltiness really gives me that, like, salty serotonin. Next, let's get this cake out of here. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> The Italian sausage. That is spicy. Woo! <laughs> Easily the hottest thing I've had all day. Wow. <sighs> it's very spicy. What's next? The barbecue wings. Oh, oh they're good. That is good. Mm -hmm. This barbecue sauce is very good. It's not too tangy. It's not too sweet. It's got the best of both worlds. Oh, Hannah Montana moment. I think that's what these wings are. They're little Hannah Montanas. The big chicken is uh, Billy Ray Cyrus. Mm. Oh, it was a great joke. Guys, leave a comment for Alex's joke. Hashtag Alex's joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's coming over. Oh, oh shit. Holy cow. <laughs> this is the fast food equivalent of Thanksgiving. They had to serve it on a giant cardboard box. What is it? Okay, oh. Can, you know what? Can, can I talk to Knotts for a second? What are we doing here? Right. This is ridiculous. Have you seen they've got a ride that just goes vertically up and then vertically down? It's too much. You need to have some moderation. This is like a Flintstones sandwich. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. This is what happens when you like give all your grocery money to the 13 year old. Go to the store and just come back with a loaf of bread, a carton of milk, a dozen eggs, and a block of cheese. Like, okay, mom. And then he walks, he's like, a, a block of cheese, a carton of milk, a dozen eggs, a loaf of bread. And by the time he gets there, he's like, the biggest cheeseburger I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Do they have a challenge for this? Like, if you eat the whole thing, you win a shirt? If you eat the whole thing, we'll call you an ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah, okay. Oh. <laughs> the accelerator. Damn, that is bomb as <laughs> That tastes so good. The accelerator is not the right name for this because it's gonna slow me down. <laughs> it's the Thanksgiving of burgers. <laughs> Gather round, kids! Daddy's come back from the hunt. <laughs> He's murdered the Hamburglar. This is the dining experience of the Accelerator, but what is the ride experience? To show us what that's like, Huey and Alex- <laughs> No, no. Are, are to <laughs> Alex, how are you feeling about going on the Accelerator I right now? I really don't want to go on it. Oh. Oh no. Oh, we have a kid is coming off crying. I don't That's want to. Tough. You, the last thing you want to see before you get on a roller coaster is a kid crying. Here we go. I you... hate you. <laughs> I hate you for making me do this. Why would anyone want that? How'd it go, Lou? I hated that. Frozen ice that cream. That looks like dope. It does look like dope. It's like pineapple ice cream. Let's try it. Oh. Oh, so good. I, I love it. You know, I've never had dope before and I don't. Dole soft serve. Dole soft serve. Dole soft serve. Excuse Dole me. soft serve. It's trademark. Oh. Yeah. Dole soft serve. <laughs> oh, there's a drink. Yeah. Mm, not as good to me. Knock knock. Who's there? there? Cantaloupe. Cantaloupe who? Cantaloupe without your lover. <laughs> knock knock. Who's, Who's there? there? Honeydew. Honeydew, Honeydew who? who? Honey, do not make jokes like that on oh. Eat the Menu. Okay. Well, what a treat. I'm glad you all got to try your pineapple and various gourd-based drinks. Not gourds, they're melons. Oh, hold on, let me, let me just take that one more time. Uh, oh, boy. Well, boys, so great to have you. Anything you guys want to plug and promote while you're here? Yes. I have a nonprofit in the city that I'm from, Syracuse, New York, and we're bringing 
transformative, free virtual arts education to the Boys and Girls Club and the YWCA. Thank you for your support. And I'm just going to promote Lou Burger. Just go follow <laughs> Lou Burger. Hey, enjoy the rest of that cake I baked you. Thank you. Uh, oh. What could be next? Well, why not some pizza? And everybody loves a good margarita pizza. This looks like a pizza that would be on a TV show. Doesn't it look like a perfect, like, Nickelodeon sitcom pizza? The basil is nice. It also kind of tastes like DiGiorno. <laughs> it's not delivery, it's not Brie. I tried the next pizza. This is the carne asada pizza. Oh, <laughs> whoa, wow, that's a lot of steak. It smells good though. The cilantro and the onions, it's like a pizzeria, like a case of pizza. Case of pizzeria. There's something here because they're putting the fresh things on top. Raw onions and cilantro, giving that freshness, making it feel a little bit fancier than it is. Now that we got those pies to the side, it's time to bring on my side piece, my beautiful better half, my lovely lady, my wife, Becky Habersberger. First up, some Cheetos mac and cheese. Wow, that look at that. Good. That looks insane. Why do you do it with that? Because I'm trying to <laughs> trying to make a new thing. They're like, oh, Keith, the guy with the spoon? Yeah, you gotta do little tricks to help the audience remember who you are. You have glasses. There's a lot of people who look like me. Both of the Green Brothers kind of look like me. Grant O'Brien looks like me. It's Thomas Sanders looks like me. You do not look like Thomas Sanders. People sometimes say we do. Yeah, Zach and I are twins, too. <laughs> okay, baby. Mmm, <laughs> cabbage chopping noodles. I think it's really good, I just don't think you should look at it. I don't know if it screams Cheetos to me. It just tastes like good spicy mac and cheese. Yes, everybody, it's happening! It's Becky and I saw this on the list of things last night, and we were both <laughs> like, like let's about? have this. The Ode to Cordelia Donut Chicken Sandwich. Cordelia always used to love his donuts and chicken, so he decided to make a sandwich for old Cordelia. Is that how it was invented? Cordelia not. She's on the picture. Oh, it was the lady. Yeah. Do you see the picture? How many Cordelias with a boy, a boy How name? How many Cordelias at all do you know? Uh, Buffy? I've never met a Cordelia. Oh, you didn't watch Buffy, actually. No. Yeah. The, the Cordelia sandwich. Yeah. Oh, the Cordelia. Oh, wow. Buy this. Fly to LA. <laughs> Drive down to Buena Park. Buy yourself a ticket to Mm-hmm. Beeline it to the old Cordelia. That um, place is cranking out hits. So this is the boysenberry bumbles berry pie from Charleston Circle Coffee. <laughs> okay, can you please say that eight more times? <laughs> the boysenberry bumble baby pie from Charleston Baby Company. Yes, it's the boysenberry bu the bumble boy, boy what is it? Bu boysenberry's bumbleberry pie. The boysenberry bumble baby pie. <laughs> How do you not say baby? The Poisonberry Bumbleberry Pie from Columbus Circle. Let's just eat the pie. It's good, it tastes exactly like the size of pie I had earlier though. You got anything else to say about pie? No, it's just it's a pie. Yeah. You're my little sugar pie. We got coffee? Well, what kind? Oh my oh, god. Oh boy. No, we get it, guys. The Boysenberry Latte from Charleston Social Coffee. You know what? It tastes actually really good. And if you're the mom or dad who's sitting, you know, with the two-year-old who can't ride any coasters, that's gonna give you the power to get through the day. Well, Baggy, thanks so much for dropping by. Always a pleasure, my sweetie. What was your favorite of the, the treats that got sent to the table? Oh, the caramel apple was amazing. Keeps out of his mind. It was perfectly proportioned. There was even like a little bit left on the butt where you could have just nuts and caramel. Well, make sure you follow Becky. Check out their podcast. You can sit with us. Thanks. See you later. Bye, have Go fun. Go have fun on a roller coaster. Next up, some treats from Fiesta Village. And to help me have quite the Fiesta, Fiesta for his first time on Eat the Menu. Please welcome to the table stage, Jonathan! Ba, 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 da, ba. Yeah. How's it going, Keith? Good, how are you doing? I'm good, man, I'm good. I can't believe we've never had you on one of these before. I know, I know, I'm usually listening, uh, listening to you burp. All right, let's bring out the first Fiesta food. <laughs> how are you feeling? I feel like I could take a siesta if I'm being quite honest. Mayo corn and some spicy stuff on it. Look at this knife, it's got a hilt. 
It's like uh, Kylo Ren's. It's yeah, right? Just, just to protect, out to just to protect my hand mm -hmm. in a knife fight. If this is like the hot dog and the corn dog, it's actually a really good hot dog. I haven't ever had an elote dog, Neither but this seems I? fun. Yeah. I mean, first of all, the hot dog itself is very good. Yeah, you good it's hot very, dog. It's a good quality hot dog. The corn is kind of a weird... The corn is weird. <laughs> We're just strange. gonna say it. We're both thinking it. The corn's yeah. weird. You'd think this big, beefy dog would crush the flavor, but yeah. it's all about the corn. All right, let's move on to the next right. one. Here come two oh. foot-long hot dogs. Okay. This looks amazing. Look at these peppers. It reminds me of the LA street dog a little bit Ooh. with the peppers, you know? Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Just because something is impressive looking doesn't mean it shouldn't taste good. Like that giant burger, still tasted good. Looked mm -hmm. ridiculous, tasted good. This looks ridiculous, tastes good. That's how it should be. I can't eat that much mm. more hot dog though. <laughs> I'll that die. That was great. All right, we got some loaded <laughs> cheese fries. These look incredible. Direct hit. Now yep. I know why it's called Fiesta Town. Yeah. <laughs> Town's having a party all day long. Population us. Mm hmm. What else have you been fast. working on, Jonathan? I know you write. My quarantine project has actually been working on a novel. A novel? And yeah. Not finished yet. They but, never are. Uh, you know. The Bocadillo Ooh, sandwich. Don't need this. What's a Bocadillo? It's like a torta. Torta is a Mexican sandwich, and I love a good torta. Oh, bread, so soft. Mm. I eat into a cloud. Almost too soft for me. Wow, I feel like at this point, I got so much grease on my hands, my hands think it's a lotion. <laughs> it's just drinking grease through my hands. <laughs> <sighs> well, right. Jonathan, thanks for dropping by. Good luck on the novel. We're yeah, all thanks. excited to read it. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, Jonathan was a treat both to sit with and to look at. But now it's time to move on to our next first ever appearance on the Ethan Menu Table stage, all the way from. Where are you from originally? Michigan. Michigan, Elliot is one of our editors. Woo! He edits videos like this one. <laughs> I'm gonna edit this video. Whoa, this will be fun for I you later. I probably won't be in very much of it. Okay, we're gonna try a couple amazing treats from Camp Snoopy. Why is your straw so much bigger than mine? Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not the size that matters. How hard you suck it. <laughs> How could I not? A little too sweet for me. It's like drinking foam. Where's the fluid? It's more like a whip than a smoothie. Let's move on to something else, something a little more exciting. We got bowls <laughs> coming over. Are these, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you gotta have at least one healthy item at the theme park. I think this is the first one we've encountered. Mm. It's really more of a quinoa It's dish. a lot of quinoa. I had the Chipotle salad for lunch. I like it more. This place is capable of good salads, and I don't think this is it. What do we got here? This looks this like my speed. This is adorable. What is this? A little boysenberry macaroon? Or is it a macaroon? Yeah, it's a macaroon. My apologies, everyone. It smells great. It smells like a Samoa, my favorite Girl Scout cookie. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, I like that. Mm-hmm. I like the frosting. Kind of has a fondant quality. Mm-hmm. Is that chewy and cakey? Got a good coconut texture and crunch. And the boysenberry, it's like a nice, it's a good amount of sweetness. Not too sweet. We're still dessert. Well, Elliot, where, where can they find you? What else do you do? Have you ever worked on any cool movies? Could everybody like IMDb you and be like, go watch Elliot's movie? They movies? could. I was an extra in The Dark Knight. <laughs> wow, that's dope. All right, check out the Dark Knight story. Elliot, we'll all see right. you back here on Eat the Menu. Enjoy editing all of this. Joining us now on Eat the Menu, everybody's favorite ray of sunshine, Sam! <laughs> ray of sunshine, yeah. hello. Yeah, you, you brighten everybody's day, oh, Sam. Oh, man. Everybody loved one, Sam. People uh. loved you when you were answering the sandwiches. People loved you when you brought the in and out you, You're like the breakout star Eat the Menu. So how are things going? I will say I'm very excited to be in this section. When I saw the salads over there and knew that my time was coming up, I was like, you're kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. But here we are. What are we gonna have with Sam? Oh, you really got the cash oh. cow, bro. It's a four piece fried chicken dinner and these are the potatoes from before. We all remember such dirty, dirty scenes that we had to cut out of the video. The Mrs. Knott's fried chicken. That's pretty good chicken. It's really good. <laughs> it's addictive. You immediately want to go in for another bite. It's so good. You gotta try this mashed potatoes. Have we had the mashed potatoes yet? Not yet. No. Oh no, I'm dripping. Oh my god. I'm gonna eat it all. I know, right? That's what I said. I'm gonna put some on my chicken. Mm, much more. I don't think it needs to be this good. 
No. You know, people would take fried chicken half as good at this and be happy, and it's so good. All right, what do we got? Ooh. What are you? Oh, southern chicken and dumplings, oh, and what kind of soda you got for us this time? It's very so let's kick it off with a little sarsaparilla. Cheers. Moment. You know what? I think I like that the most of the sarsaparillas I've had. But let's let's get into this. This <laughs> is as a child, oh. I love this. Cracker Barrel has mm. this. Have you ever had the Cracker Barrel? Oh, Sam, 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 I. Sam. I love this kind. Oh, I'm gonna choke. I love. <laughs> Where's the chicken? There it is. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Why did I do this? Mmm. Way too big of a bite for me. <laughs> me too, Sam. The herbs are yep. very present. I'm dripping gravy everywhere. <laughs> the chicken is great. The dumplings are just so soft and luxurious. I love chicken and mm. dumplings. Mm. I got, we gotta do an Ethan menu Cracker Barrel. I'm telling you, oh there's one God. in Ventura that I go I know, to. We drove by it the other day. I was like, holy cow, there's a Cracker Barrel out here? <laughs> this is exactly what you want this to be. And look at this funky bowl. Yeah. It looks like it's in a spy movie. Hello, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got? Oh. Oh, are you kidding? Oh. Uh, Another one? Oh my god. It's got a sandwich wow. for a hat. Keith, it's me and you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what animal does this? Possums. This is a little marsupial sandwich over here. He's carrying his little child yeah. around. Wow, oh, look at these fries. These are breaded yeah, fries. Yeah, these are good fries. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please stand up and salute Major Cluckaroo. <laughs> it's a major sandwich. That bun is oh just- Oh my god! <laughs> it's a single piece of chicken. It's like a schnitzel the size of a basketball. Is this a uh, first cadet <laughs> cluckaroo? First. Sam, here you go. Yay. Here's yours. Here's mine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good sandwich. I think I could eat this whole thing if I were only eating this whole thing. Mine only has chicken. <laughs> this is good for field trips. You know, mm. you, you order one of these per class. 30 children just sort of like get on this like a bunch of ants. I want to eat more of it. These fries are also quite good. These are like those battered uh, fries you get at like fish restaurants. Yeah. They're good. Look at this. I bet you guys are hoping, oh, I hope I see at least one more boysenberry item. Well, you guess what? <laughs> we got two more. Yes. All right, let's try this uh, bo boysenberry frappuccino. Yeah, I'm into oh, it. That's good. Not too tart, not too sweet. It's really quite drinkable. Is there coffee in this? No! <laughs> this is the perfect thing for teenagers who want to look cool like they drink coffee but don't like coffee. It's like, oh yeah, I'm having a frap. It's like, oh wow. It's just a frap. Pah. Well, Sam, what you got going on? Where can people find you? You do anything cool? Man, I've just been figuring out how I can audition for Survivor. How can we help you with that? Definitely take a leave of absence to go on Survivor. Oh, <laughs> no problem. Jeff Probst, you watching? Make sure you follow Sam. He's always doing cool stuff. He's got the funniest Instagram that I follow. Oh, thanks, <laughs> and, man. Yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. All right. Thanks for having by, Sam. Later, guys. All right, let's get rid of this and move on to our just desserts. I know we've had a lot of desserts, but there's one more. I'm keeping the spoon. I need the spoon. That's, people will be like, oh, he's the spoon guy. Everybody, hold on. It's about to get crazy up in here. The original Snoopy is here. There's, dump, there's gravy on the table. What's he gonna think? There's gravy on the table. Snoopy! Snoopy! Snoopy is here! This isn't just me, right? We're all seeing this, right? I've eaten a lot of food. Snoopy, thanks for coming by. How's it going? All right, we're gonna have the churro together, Snoopy. Joining me for the first time on the Ethan Menu table stage is Snoopy the dog. This is, this is incredible. Do you like this? How many do you eat a day? You're embarrassed to say. Oh, that many? <laughs> That's unhealthy. It's okay, let's try this, this is good. <laughs> this is, I feel like I'm in a crazy dream. <laughs> this is a poison bear churro. <laughs> you know, Snoopy, I'm sorry to say. I love it. It's incredible. It's really good. It's everything you want in a churro. Of course it's boys and Mary Hobbs, man. There's no way it would be anything else. They gotta make their money on this boys and Mary. They didn't invent the boys and Mary just to not just be me boys and Mary at the end of the video with Snoopy here. 
It was really with you. <laughs> this is a great time. He's crazy. Well, guys, hi, churro was delicious. Everything was great. Snoopy, I gotta have to ask you to go because I gotta get into the best and the least best. And I don't want you to hear about what I didn't like. I don't want your hurt feelings. Don't worry, I liked almost everything. Oh, Snoopy, this is great. This is great. I don't want it to end, but it must. Bye, bye, Snoopy. Say bye, everybody. <laughs> but now it's time for me to decide the best and the least best. Hmm. Okay, there's a lot of bests here today because we tried a lot of different things from a lot of different places. The standout, standout thing to me for the day, the thing that blew my mind the most, had to have been the mashed potatoes. Maybe some of the best mashed potatoes I've ever had in my life. They're rich, they're perfectly salted and seasoned. You just wanna eat them forever. And of course then, like the chicken dinner with the corn, like that was the best like meal. It's so perfect. It was a good balance of unhealthy stuff where I still think like, yes, you'd probably be fatigued for like a half an hour after, but I think you could get back in there. Probably my favorite dessert was the cinnamon roll cookie, the dough knot. It had this great moistness of the cookie with a churro flavor. It felt like something that you only can have at a theme park or a carnival because it's like not real. And all the classics, the corn dog was great, the funnel cake was great. Everything that you come to a theme park for, I think they really deliver on well. I didn't love the salad. I don't like quinoa that much and I don't like arugula, so it was really an uphill battle for that. You're not at the theme park to be healthy. You're at a theme park to live your dream. You get to have adrenaline thrills, you get to have sugar highs, and also you just get to like see your kids or your family or your friends have a lot of fun. I think the only way we can really finish this video is with me going on hang time with a full belly full of everything at Knott's Farm. Let's do it. All right, here we go. We're going on hang time. Let's hang, baby. See if we can keep it down. Some Keith's chicken sauce, Keith's taco sauce, Keith's burger sauce, you can get it on the internet. Just like you are right now. <laughs> Go on over to the internet and buy some hot sauce. Until next time, I'm Keith Aversberger. Thanks to Jared, thanks to Lou Burger, aka Alex and Huey. Thanks to Becky, thanks to Sam, thanks to Elliot, thanks to Jonathan, thanks to Alexandria, thanks to Nat, thanks to everybody in the room, and thanks to me. This is Ethan Menu. I'm Keith Haberdasher. She's gonna sit by my side. Here she comes, my beautiful wife. Here she comes, she's the love of my life. We're gonna have some donut chicken sandwiches. That's really what we're having today. <laughs>